Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a very puzzle unboxing, indeed, and a nice huge box, really. Um, been through the crushing, crushing machine a little bit anyway. We got a little bit of crushing there. Always got to get our, our crushing uh, done for us, and uh, but otherwise it's uh, it's in really uh, really good shape. Now, what's in the box is just one puzzle and a couple of accessories. So, um, perhaps you can imagine that this is a very big puzzle. So, um, I'll tell you the story, by the way, this is, this was starting to come apart just, just when I got it. Um, so, um, Barry Puzzle had an autumn sale and, uh, I kind of hesitated a little bit because, you know, I mean, autumn, autumn means autumn, right? You, you got some time to think about it. Um, well, when I went to actually uh, buy some puzzles, <laughs> the autumn sale pr promo code didn't work anymore. So yeah, um, it's my own fault. <laughs> uh, I missed out on their autumn sale. But uh, I didn't miss out on the shipping. I don't know if they were just busy with a lot of uh, orders due to the autumn sale, but I didn't. It, it seemed to take a while for this to ship. But anyway, it's here. It's fine. I'm really happy to get some puzzles. So I got a puzzle, and I'm also expecting a couple of accessories. So let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, I got to say, this is unusual. Um, look at that. My The whole thing, no box, no inner box, which makes sense, right? And now we can actually see what, what it is. This is a number 93. This is the Dirt C1. And so what this is is a cloverization of the dirt puzzle, the D-I-R-T uh, puzzle, which I have. Um, and frankly, I, I was going to put it out for, for some show and tell on the table, but <laughs> it's, uh, there's, there's no room. So that's, that's why. So this is, this is fantastic. This is just fantastic. So the whole thing. So I also ordered some extra stickers. Now this looks like these are the dirt stickers. Um, Okay, yeah, oh no, okay, so this is what I, my extra stickers, this is for my Totmix F2, and it's because I have a Totmix F2, which I haven't shown on my channel yet, um, and uh, there, there, I did some experiments with the stickers that, that didn't work out, <laughs> so it needs new stickers, anyway, and then it looks like this must be stickers for the, the dirt itself, um, I ordered some more stands, because these are very helpful, these little stands, and uh, oop, and then this turning tool. So I'll show you all about that later. Yeah, and I got one turning tool comes with the puzzle, and then one I uh, ordered next one. Okay, whoops, more stands. Oh boy. All right. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I think I ordered an extra five of these very handy stands. Um, you know that I. Uh, uh, I, I was using these glass uh, candle holder uh, stands for a long time, but this is, this is I think, a, a nice solution, especially for larger puzzles. Um, so I'm just going to go with those. And I'll, I'll get the other ones that fell down later. Um, now, the, uh, the silicone handle is... Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it. They, they include one with the puzzle, and this is what, what's here. But... Um, a lot of these big, very puzzle puzzles uh, are fairly shallow cut. And so this is going to make it much, much easier for me to turn uh, to turn faces on these puzzles. I will give you an example here. So this is the uh, Rhombic Tutmix F2 variant, which, which I absolutely love this puzzle. I got to do a video on it. Um, but turning these very, very small faces, especially you have to have them pretty tight, uh, kind of tricky, right? So I'm, I'm kind of hoping, yeah, indeed. And this, this handle, as you can see, it, it turns it just almost effortlessly. And that's exactly what I was looking for. So, so this little silicone handle is going to come in uh, very, very handy. It'll save wear and tear on my fingers. And uh, I just wanted to have an extra one just to just to be able to carry around in my bag. Okay, wow, this is, this was unexpected. So this is a beast of a puzzle. The dirt uh, uh, C1 is uh, it's the same size as the dirt puzzle, which is, itself is huge. The dirt 
is uh, 62 axes, but the uh, this cloverized version of it is uh, 122 axes. Um, so yeah, so these are these are some examples of some of the pieces. I don't know if I really need to to show all the bits and pieces, but um, if you've ever put together a very puzzle uh, puzzle. You can you know what the cores look like, and you can see how big this core would be. Wow, that is that is fantastic. Oh, here's the okay. So yeah, so here's the more stickers. So this is the Dirt C1 sticker set. So I wonder what these ones are. This is interesting, huh? I'll have to check my uh, I'll have to check my order here to see what what this is about because these are the extra stickers for the uh, Top Mix F2. Uh, which, by the way, what I showed you was the rhombic Tutmix F2. So the F2 is is another variant, just a Tutmix variant. Um, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's uh, going to be coming coming out on my channel. I'm going to show all those puzzles. Oh, this is this is fantastic. Um, just putting this together is to me going to be an absolutely uh, uh, wonderful experience. I'm just getting, looking forward so much to it, putting this whole thing together. So uh, now, uh, Very Puzzle is not uh, providing printed manuals anymore. You go onto their website um, and they give me this really nice uh, QAM code. So I'll just get that and I'll be able to download the manual. Um, okay, I'm going to get this out of the way here. So this is the show and tell part of the video. Uh, the bag of parts that I uh, showed earlier is going to end up uh, as a puzzle about the same size as this. This is the dirt, so the original um, member of this family. Um, this only has 62 axes, and the one that I'm going to put together is going to have 122 axes. Now the dirt puzzle is uh, the equivalent of a uh, the TI puzzle that Very Puzzles made the TI and the the Void version the VTI. Um, it's uh, a fairly straightforward puzzle you uh, to solve. You just can do a layer by layer solve just using uh, simple uh, uh, three cycles. Um, right at the end, uh, I usually do the last few of these little corners uh, with uh, an algorithm. That I developed, but uh, otherwise, it's it, you can just do the whole thing. There is a lot of work to do, though. So, a little uh, trivia, I guess. Dirt D I R T is the axis system that they use, and it stands for uh, uh, dodecahedron, icosahedron, and rhombic triacontahedron. So, those are the three axis system axis systems that are incorporated uh, in this puzzle. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, and it's it's going to be hard to imagine having a, a second puzzle the same size as this. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that uh, putting together the puzzle is uh, it, you know at least as fun as anything else. Stickering the puzzle. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, to me, do-it-yourself puzzles like this are, are part of the, part of the fun. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, pretty much, uh, it for this unboxing. You got a sneak peek at, uh, some of the other things I was, I've been working on. Uh, the, uh, Rhombic, uh, Tutminx F2 variant, uh, which, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, doing a, a video on. And also the Tutminx F2 variant. I've I've had some issues getting it to uh, to turn uh, and to, to not pop, but I think I'm on the right track. I think I know how to fix it, and uh, that plus uh, some some replacement stickers for some that uh, I I a bad a experiment went horribly wrong, um, and then I'll have that one uh, and I'll be able to do a show and at least a, a video on it, show and tell something like that. Okay, well, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Um, is this giant bag of parts for you? Is this something you would uh, uh, consider, or would you just rather uh, buy it uh, already assembled, even if you had to pay a little bit more? Yeah, let me know down in the comments. Also, what do you think about stickering these big puzzles? 
Um, do you mind if it comes to you unstickered and then you have to put the stickers on or would you rather buy it already stickered? I'm kind of curious to know what you uh, what you think about it. You, you already know what I think. Um, yeah, and uh, any other comments or uh, questions or suggestions you want, uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And as always, thanks for watching.